soft feminine body language. How do you exude grace and elegance and most importantly your femininity without having to say anything at all? How do you reach your most reveled life goals without necessarily presenting to the world over justification? How do you get your future husband to come over to you and ask you on a date without having to make the first move? How do you walk into a boardroom or pitch your business idea without coming off as too intimidating? The secret to all of this, I believe, is soft feminine body language. This is going to help you present yourself with confidence, but it's also going to make you more approachable. Welcome to the channel, lovely feminine women. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate it when you hit the like button on my videos as well as leave me a comment down below. You know that your feminine journey actually matters so much to me that I take the time to get back to all of my comments or at least to the best of my ability. If you are new to the channel, please consider joining this femininity revolution where we truly believe that femininity has a place in the cultural conversation and we do not want a large group of women to be left behind. We also explore the topics of homemaking because we believe that a warm and welcoming home is an integral part to living out your life as a feminine and three-dimensional woman. Like I mentioned in the intro, we are going to talk about soft feminine body language. This has impacted my life and has helped me level up in so many ways. This is coming from the person who was labeled as having a disproportionate body being too short, not able to do modeling as well as pageants, who used feminine body language to achieve those goals and put the naysayers a little bit to shame. Feminine body language also helped me foster deep and meaningful connections and it helped me get noticed by my husband. Your life goals and beliefs might be completely different and I 100% support you. Whatever it is you want to achieve in your life, I think that femininity is an authentic way to get there and I think that a big part of that that puzzle is understanding how you can use soft body language to exude that femininity. If you haven't watched the other videos in my feminine mannerism series, I'm going to link that playlist down below because a lot of the things that I talk about today I explore more in depth in those videos. This is kind of a video that is going to serve as a conglomerate of various points that I mentioned in the past. So without further ado, let me get into my first pillar to soft feminine body language, which includes incorporating more cyclical motions. I want you to picture yourself like having queen, princess or ballerina energy. The masculine is more linear, but the feminine is more cyclical. There are a variety of ways that you can incorporate cyclical movement into your everyday life that don't necessarily come off as too over the top. Examples of this would of course include talking with your hands, not in an overly distracting way, but just in a way that will help you look more open and receiving. A few other examples would be watching the way that you pivot and how you turn. Are you softly pivoting or are you briskly going in a back and forth manner when you're changing direction in terms of your walking? In my How to Walk Femininely video, I showed you the example of a semicircle, which is also going to benefit you because you're not going to be flashing unwanted body parts when you walk this way. Next up, I encourage you to slow down. This is so important in North American culture because we live life at a fast pace. 
We always want to find the next gimmick, the shortcut to getting whatever we want, but a lot of times these tactics don't actually shave off a lot of time. Let's go back to kindergarten and use the simplistic example of tying your shoes. You are in a rush to get somewhere and you think that trying to tie your shoes quickly is going to save you a lot of time, but in reality it only shaves off about 5 seconds. The downfall to this is that you are left in a frantic mood and that really does ruin your vibe potentially for the rest of the day. Exuding soft feminine body language means that you have to consider your mental state. You have to learn how to take a breather, decompress, and try to live your life at a slower pace. This doesn't mean that you aren't going to accomplish your goals, it is simply reframing your thinking. Of course you're probably going to have to cut out unnecessary stress and obligations, but it is going to be worth it because you are going to be able to tap into feminine flow and this flow is going to extend to your body language. And in the long term, when you live a more authentic life, you will achieve those goals. I promise you this. Thirdly, as an extension to the cyclical movement, you want to consider your transitions. Are you abruptly going from seated to standing? Are you grabbing objects quickly? Are you moving your head so that you are fixated on something very easily? Or are you actually easing through these motions, kind of with that dance or touch that I talked about in my first point? You also want to add dimension to your posture as well as your movements. In my how to have feminine posture, how to have good posture video, we discussed the concept of openness. When you think about the soft feminine woman and her body language, you don't immediately think about openness because openness is often associated with confidence. But this is absolutely applicable to the soft feminine woman because you aren't going to be able to engage in cyclical and smooth motions if you are completely closed off. Where are you placing your hands? Are you placing them in front of your most vulnerable body parts? Are you slouching in your hips and in your posture? Being a feminine woman does mean that you do have a degree of vulnerability. So showing the more vulnerable parts of your body, for example your neck, through your open posture is going to exude softness through grace. You're also going to add height by doing this and of course height is going to help you stand out. My fifth tip includes considering your face. Are you carrying unwanted stress on your face? I have been engaging in the, I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, the gua, gua sha? Please correct me in the comment section, I should have looked this up before. But you can also practice identifying the pressure points on your face and doing face massage to help relieve tension. This one is going to carry a little bit more effort because you're going to want to be thinking about how your mouth is moving and if you are smiling with your eyes. I talked about in my feminine facial expressions video that you're going to want to make sure that your lips are a little bit turned up in a slight smile to avoid resting angry face. This means that you are going to have to have strong cheek muscles to be able to support the rest of your face. You can build these through facial exercises or simply the practice of smiling. A warm and genuine smile is going to exude softness. In terms of your eyes, if you have a hard time with smizing, I want you to consider another point. That is not being too fixated on whatever it is you are looking at because that can communicate intimidation. I don't want you to have wandering or distracted eyes, but I want you to think about what is running through your mind when you are observing something and you are actually looking at it. Understanding where your gaze goes is also going to make for a more impactful facial expression when, for example, you do foster deep connection with somebody else and you have more of a fixated gaze on them. You're going to be presenting more variety in where you are putting your eyes. This is all I have for you today but I would love for 
you to leave me a comment down below and let me know what kind of things constitute soft feminine body language. What are the techniques that you have used to communicate this type of grace in your everyday life? And also, I'm curious to know how it has impacted your life. <laughs> I'm saying life a lot. I will see you next time, lovely feminine women. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.